Several years ago, uh, I was a pastor intern at a church in Austin, Texas, and they had asked me to take part in a marriage seminar. Now, to you, that might not seem like a big deal, but to me, it did at the time because they weren't just asking me to attend this marriage seminar. They were asking me to help lead it, <laughs> which to me was laughable because at that time, I had been married for less than a year. What was I going to say to, to people that had been married for 15, 20, 25 years? It's not like I had this expertise that I could share with them, but I did it. I, I helped lead this marriage seminar. And you know what I found? I found that I actually had a lot to say about marriage, but it's not because I was an expert. It's not because I, I had some profound insights from my own marriage to share. I had a lot to say because the Bible has a lot to say about marriage. God talks a lot about marriage, and it's not surprising because God instituted marriage pretty much right away. It's one of, uh, it's one of God's oldest institutions. In Genesis chapter 2, God institutes marriage between Adam and between Eve. <laughs> and so it makes sense that God would talk a lot about marriage. And so we should take our direction, we should think about marriage from God's perspective and think about what God has to say about marriage. And this matters. It matters for people that are, are married in a very practical way because you're trying to navigate uh, what it means to be married, how I should interact in my marriage, what God has to say about all of that. And it also matters for you who are single as well. Uh, you may desire to be married one day, and so th these, this talk about marriage will be a beneficial thing for you. But even if you don't desire to be married someday, marriage is something that God wants us to see as a blessing. Not just people that are married, but, but all people. In, in Hebrews chapter 13, uh, God, through the writer to the Hebrew, says this, Marriage should be honored by all. That means not just married people should honor marriage, but everybody should honor marriage. Those who, who go their li life without being married and uh, children who, who are not yet married should honor marriage just as much as people who are married should honor marriage. So, so this matters. What God says about marriage matters. And I want to leave you with, with one thought as kind of an introductory thought to this Wednesday devotion series. Don't you want a God who is perfectly loving, forgiving, and caring to inform your thoughts about marriage? Don't you want that? But rather than TV sitcoms or, or, or the news, don't you want God, who is perfectly loving, forgiving, and caring, to inform your thoughts about marriage? Don't you want God, who is willing to give up his only son, that, don't you want him to be able to inform your thoughts about marriage and to teach you how you should carry out your own marriage or how you should honor other people's marriages? Uh, the answer, of course, is absolutely. Absolutely, we want that God of perfect love and perfect forgiveness and perfect grace to, to inform everything about our lives, and especially when it comes to marriage. So for the, the next several weeks, we're going to, to dig into the topic of, of marriage as we see it in the Bible. So whether you are married, whether you desire to be married, whether you're single and have no desire to be married, I hope that you find these videos to be useful and to bless your view on what marriage is and what God wants marriage to be.